of the traveling twin's spaceship C is the speed of light. Let's assume the traveling twin travels to a star four light years away at 0.8 C. From the earthbound twin's perspective, the total time for the trip out and back is distance equals four light years X, two equals eight light years, time equals distance slash speed equals eight light years slash 0.8, C equals 10 years. So the earthbound twin experiences 10 years. From the traveling twin's perspective, their clock runs slower. We can calculate the time they experience using the formula. T underscore T equals 10 text years square root of one minus frac, 0.8 C squared C squared. T underscore T equals 10 text years square root of one minus 0.64 T underscore T equals 10 text years square root of 0.36 square root of 0.36. T underscore T equals 10 text years times 0 0.6 equals 6 text years. Upon their return, the traveling twin has aged only 6 years, while the earthbound twin has aged 10 years. The traveling twin is indeed younger. The space-time diagram. A helpful way to visualize this is with a space-time diagram. The earthbound twin's path is a straight vertical line, representing them at a constant position in space over time. The traveling twin's path is a V-shape, with two distinct segments representing the outbound and inbound journeys. The length of the path in space-time represents the proper time experienced by the twin. Due to the geometry of space-time, the straight path, earthbound twin, is the longest, while the bent path, traveling twin, is the shortest. This explains why less time passes for the traveler. In summary, the twin paradox is not a true paradox, but a fascinating consequence of special relativity, highlighting the profound effects of high-speed travel and the critical role of acceleration in breaking the symmetry between two observers.